Guatemala. It has a verdant countryside, vibrant colors, and a rich culture. It also has an appalling record of human rights. After Colombia, it is the second most dangerous country in Latin America for trade unionists. At 7.50 p.m. on the 15th of January 2007, Pedro Zamora, a dog worker from Puerto Quetzal, was returning home from the local clinic with his two small sons in his pickup truck. A car was waiting for him. Its occupants shot a hundred bullets at the pickup. Twenty or so hit Zamora. He pushed the children to the floor to try to protect them. Badly wounded, he crashed the car. One of his assailants walked over and fired a final shot to his head from close range. Both children witnessed their father's violent death. Se llama Ángel. Es uno de los hijos pequeños de Pedro. Ellos dos iban con Pedro al momento del, del ataque que le hicieron. Tuvo que ofrendar su vida para, para cuidar de sus hijos. Hasta el último segundo él trató de... Sí, a papá le pegamos con pistola, hijo. His family remained devastated. Pedro Zamora was the general secretary of STEPQ, a union which has been fighting port privatization. His death was directly linked to this struggle. For a year prior to his murder, Pedro had received frequent death threats. Armed men had waited menacingly outside his house. In July 2006, unknown assailants shot at one of his fellow trade unionists. Since Pedro's assassination, other STEPQ board members have received death threats. The ITF has been at the forefront of campaigning to secure justice for Pedro Zamora and STEPQ. On the 27th of January, an international delegation of trade unionists flew to Guatemala. They met with the union, with Pedro's family, with local police, members of the justice system, with politicians and Guatemala's own human rights commissioner. The trade unionists also met with the UN and with the US and Spanish embassies. The delegation called for the protection of the remaining union leaders for a transparent investigation and for the prosecution of those responsible for Pedro's death. And in conducting this mission, our aim is to find the ways in which we can put pressure, put pressure on the authorities, put pressure on the port management, put pressure on the police, put pressure on the president to make sure that you get justice. The group reported grave concerns about the investigation and questioned the fact that the only line being pursued was that of a family quarrel. Its members also called for the reinstatement of nine workers dismissed in October, whose jobs Pedro was fighting for when he died. This visit had results in two key areas. Firstly, on the 7th of February, a group of Guatemalan parliamentarians met the port company and demanded the rapid reinstatement of the nine dismissed workers. On the 12th of February, a month after his death, Pedro Zamora's campaign won a first battle. The workers were reinstated. Secondly, a prospective investor in port expansion, the Central American Bank for Economic Integration, has said that it will not fund port restructuring if human and labor rights violations continue. These are important steps that boost the union and strengthen the campaign. They show that international solidarity can change events. Step Q's is a key case for all Guatemala's trade unionists and human rights activists. 
In a country where the UN has concluded that genuine trade union freedom does not exist due to anti-union violence, and where human rights are routinely ignored, it is vital that internationally workers' organizations and their supporters use their voices against this repression. These courageous trade unionists are prepared to risk their lives to speak out for justice and for the future of all Guatemalans. Yo veo este grupo sindical más unido, más fortalecido y sobre todo que el día que enterramos a Pedro Zamora acá enterramos su cuerpo, pero no sus ideales. The ITF is campaigning for a proper investigation, for prosecution of those responsible, for protection for the union leaders and for justice for Step Q in their struggle for trade union rights. In doing so, we aim to contribute to ending impunity in Guatemala. Join us! Pedro Zamora!